And in order to face her biggest fear, Susanna is about to go to extreme lengths. I am now on my way to meet a plastic surgeon and a prosthetic technician who are going to enable me to age without a time machine to 70 years old in a matter of hours. Part of me is quite excited. Oh, phew, I know that's how I'm going to look when I'm 70, but it's also pretty terrifying too. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Today, she's meeting plastic surgeon David Ross and prosthetics expert Christian Mallet. Hello, Christian. The aim is to predict how Susanna will age so Christian can design a realistic mask and bodysuit. I've got photographs of myself from which... So here I'm four. And then there's a bit of a jump because I couldn't find any photographs of myself in my teens. But there I'm probably about 26 there. And here I'm about 36. And now I'm 45. And how much are you smoking now? I don't smoke. I mean, I think the key things to say are that as we age, the first thing that happens is you lose volume in the face mm. uh, and the tissues become thin mm -hmm. uh, and they tend to sort of head south. So if you look at, for example, your pictures here, uh, this taken in your late 20s, mm. you've got a lovely arch to your brow. So, for example, if I lift your brow yes, up... see, I'm going to have a full face lift when I get to yeah, this. As you, well, as I lift your brow up back to where it was in this shot... Is that much difference? Uh, yeah. And then drop. Yeah. yeah. These are just three images which um, I've done over the last day of what may happen. And this is what we can achieve with silicone. That is really shocking. And when I see this, I do see my mother. I see my mother. <laughs> I just can't believe it. It is Six so to ten depressing. Heavy at one stage. I mean, it's so I, really again, I'm so, I don't think. I'm so horrified by this whole thing. <laughs> I feel very choked, I feel very emotional, and probably if I, if I was on my own, I would burst into tears. It's really shocking. Susanna must first endure four hours in a body and face cast to create a mould for Christian to work with. That was like being very... Well done. Nice. <laughs> Finally, after hundreds of hours of sculpting, the suit and mask are ready. And it's time for Susanna to face the music. How are you? Nice to see you. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so horrified by that. <laughs> oh, God, so is that me in real, like, reality? That's, that's from your life cast, yes. I mean, even that's pretty... Revolting. Everyone hates their own life cast. It seems to be a Look standard at it. reaction. It's horrible. It's like a death mask. I mean, you don't really need to age me much looking at that. So I need to go to the loo. After another four hours of the makeover from hell, Susanna's only moments away from coming face to face with herself as an old lady. Literally, I, I don't look. I don't look. I've just caught a flash of myself, and I don't think I can look again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. You poor soul. I look just like my mother. is going at 100 miles an hour. Honey, there is no way I'm going to look like this when I'm 70 years old because I will not dress like this. I will not have my hair like this. I will not allow my face to become like this.
Having jumped forward 25 years, Susanna now needs to find out how old ladies shop and is in Croydon Town Centre to meet a real 71-year-old and grandmother of eight.